So I really wanted a living wreath on my front door and to actually buy the true living wreath molds um, from like Gardner Supply or whatever are like $40 and I didn't really want to spend that on just the frame and it was a lot smaller. So we're going to experiment here, but this is a really massive grapevine wreath from Hobby Lobby. It was $10. Um, so I'm going to try to make a living wreath out of this. I'm going to be building up a moss based on here with some sphagnum moss and probably some decorative moss. And then I'm going to be planting my succulents in it. I don't think I'm going to be doing the whole thing, um, but we'll kind of see how much of it I get covered. So this is what we have so far. I'm going to take my wire cutters and some floral wire. And this is a really fun hen and chicks succulent here but it had a ton of babies, so I wanted to try to utilize this. I have these ones already, oh, one just flew out, um, that I might try to incorporate in there too. And then I have this sedum that I wanted to maybe put a few in here as well, just to give it a different color. I wanted to do hard succulents, um, semper vivums, and sedums that are tolerant to the cold in our area, just in case, since this one will be outside. Um, probably all summer, if it did get cold, I wanted it to be able to kind of survive a little bit. So I wanted to give it a little fighting chance. So that's why I'm going to be using Semper Vibums in this project. And then we have the long fibered sphagnum moss that we're gonna attempt to use. All right, so I did end up getting this moss wet. I let it sit here for a little bit, really soak up all of the water. Um, I'm just gonna squeeze it out before I put it on here. moss done. I made it a little bit uneven just to try to make it a little bit more natural looking. I have these decorative accent pins. I just bought these off of Amazon. I don't know if they're going to work, but I'm really hoping that they do. Um, I'm going to be trying to kind of like pinch them in a little bit maybe. And then I do have a little bit of extra moss. I'm thinking I'm going to have to build it up a little bit right here. But I want to separate this first. So one thing I've started doing, and I did this for the succulents in my wedding bouquet, but I took these pins and am pushing them through the stem here. And that's just making it really easy to like stick the whole thing into the arrangement. We're getting there. I don't know how much to actually put on the bottom because I feel like you're more just going to see this in the top. So probably won't put a whole lot more down here, but I am liking how this is kind of filling out. I do want to put a few more maybe up here, just kind of covering the moss bits. Okay, so I am done. This is what it looks like finished. Oh, I turn on a light. Sorry, the ring of light, that's all I got right now. But look at that. All of these hen and chicks are so fun. They're very like watermelon vibes. I thought they would look fun for summer. And then we have these lime green sedums. I tried to fill in the sedums. I might add like two more right there. Um, but otherwise, and then I also have this kind of dark green variety. But I think they kind of look fun. I kind of want to add like a welcome sign across the top though. There, I added one more in there. I think that made it look a little bit fuller. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of be gentle with this until it kind of roots in but I am going to go put it on my door not very many people use our front door so it should be okay 
to put on there and I'll just kind of fix things if they fall out or whatever, but I think this turned out really cute so far. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the front. Mm -hmm. 